thank you for coming to watch. So what I want to do is talk about coterminal angles. It gets so many students, um, so I want to make a great video that will help you out. So what I want to do is I want to graph um, two coterminal angles, one that's going to be positive and one that's going to be negative. Um, for our angle 11 pi over 6. So before I even get to that, I got to make sure I know where 11 pi over 6 is, right? So first of all, remember, here's our initial side. When we're in standard form, there's our initial side. And we need to determine our terminal side. Well, since that's negative, that means I'm going to go down in my negative direction. So my angle is going to open up in the downward direction. So let's go halfway around is always going to be pi, which I'll immediately write as 6 pi over 6. Over around here is going to be 12 pi over 6. So halfway between 12 and 6 will be 8 pi over 6. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm dealing with negative 11 pi, right, just the negative member just tells you to go in the negative direction. So, but the value of it is still 11 pi over 6. I'm getting an angle that's pretty much right about there. Right? And we can, I'm not going to put the negative in there because it's just negative is just representing my, uh, I guess I'll just do it. That just represents, we're going in the negative direction, right? Where this would be 3 pi over 6. Okay, so we're all going in the negative direction, so those are all your negative angles. All right, so the angle looks something like this. Okay, so what I want to do is I need to find out my two coterminal angles. So remember, coterminal angles are going to be angles that have the exact same initial and terminal side. All right? So if you look at it, um, ladies and gentlemen, remember all the way around a circle is, uh, all the way around a circle is 2 pi, right? Well, I'm almost all the way there in the negative direction. So if I could write, if I can find the value of here to here, then I'm looking pretty good, right? Because that is the same, that's a terminal side. So how am I going to find that angle? Well, remember, from here all the way around there is um, the negative angle. So a way that we could kind of look at it is I don't really like to do, um, you could look at it as, eh, I don't even explain it that way. All we need to know is to go from negative 11 pi over 6 to negative 12 pi over 6, how much, how far do I need to go? All I need to do, again, is go a distance of pi over 6. However, I'm not looking for another negative distance. If I start on this terminal side and I go to here, how far do I have to travel? I only have to travel pi over 6. So the way we can do that is just take your terminal side and add a positive 2 pi. So take 11 pi over 6 and add 2 pi. Well, when I change this to a denominator of 6 over 6, or 6, 12 over 6, I get negative 11 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6, which gives me 1 pi, or just pi, over 6. So that's how I did my work right there. So you can see I get my pi over 6, which is this answer. All right, so now let's look at what other ways could we do this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, remember we could also go in our whole direction, but then go again. And how far? Once I went to my terminal side, I went around another 2 pi, right? But I went in the negative direction. So I could also say negative 11 pi over 6 minus 2 pi. And again, we do the same thing. Put it over 1, multiply by 6 over 6. So I get negative 11 pi over 6 minus 12 pi over 6, and you get a negative 23 pi over 6. So that's going to be my final. Those are going to be my two coterminal angles, one being positive and one being negative. So I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe down below. And uh, thanks again for watching.